What's up, Bone Ponies? What is going on? It's your boy. It is. Tabletop Totem. Your three-piece tendy. Three-piece tendy, yo. Coming at you live. What, what are we doing tonight, boys? We're going to be playing some Settlers. Settlers of, well, technically, the Settlers of Time. Game of choice for tonight's evening. Mm -hmm. This will be my first settling of this land you call Catan. Indeed. I've come from the I've come from the far north and I'm looking for viable farming land. Oh. Yes. For my people. The endless blue horde. <laughs> <laughs> Good. We are playing uh, Settlers of Catan not just for our own enjoyment. No, we're doing it for Extra Life, the twenty twenty two season. Indeed, two twos. Our our and third season part of progress. Yeah, yeah, and we're hoping to um, be three time gold medalists. Tabletop yeah. mentality. What's up? Hell yeah. like, let's let's start popping them ranch bottles. That's it. Ponies. You know, Act there's right. nothing like doing a thing that like wins and like having somebody dump that that big water cooler of like ice cold ranch dressing all over you. Yeah. To celebrate your triumph. Yeah. I mean, I can't speak from experience on that, but that does sound like something that would be a unique experience. It is so refreshing. Is it refreshing, Cody? Very. Is that the word you would? It's like it's like a a, a cool waterfall. Yeah, I would of, say yeah. so. Of ranch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. You know, cleanse yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're cleansing yourself in ranch. Definitely. Sure. Definitely the. I mean, that's what you do when, like, you suspect somebody, like, you know, has an alien living inside of them or might be, like, a lycanthrope, you know. You, mm -hmm. you throw them in a bathtub full of ranch and you wait to see what shakes out. Yeah, okay, whatever happens. That's what my father taught me. So. It's, how you, it's how you tell if someone's a witch. You see if they, if they float. If they float in the ranch. <laughs> <laughs> well, what else floats in ranch? Tiny rocks. Rocks. <laughs> Wood. Ducks, yeah, for sure. Mm. Churches, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yep, so we're going to do another session of our live play. We've been a little bit behind on doing them um, just because we were doing our Kickstarter project, everything along those lines. I want to talk about that, too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, we've, been, we've been working on a lot of... Yeah, we've been working on a lot of projects, but we're glad to be back. Glad to uh, get into a game, a board game here. Yeah, um, it's good to be back in the saddle. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. Ranch, ranching it up. It's time to get out there and mend some fences and drive some cattle. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sell some sheep. Yep. I'm doing sheep farm. Neil strategy sheep. <laughs> sheep. <laughs> I see we have a fellow Scotsman at the <laughs> table. <laughs> um, so we'll go through it really quick. I've played Settlers a good amount. Steve, how much have you played? Played a couple, uh, couple of games. A couple times. Yeah. A couple times I played it. Yeah. And Cody, what's your experience at the table? Uh, this is my first settling of Catan. Oh so. yeah. Yeah. Um. I'm I'm not, I, I would, well, let me just put it this way. I watched like four minutes of an eight minute how to YouTube video. Oh, so you're so a I'm master. Pretty sure, you're I'm pretty sure I got this just yeah. like, you know, I'm not worried. I'm not shook. Yeah. Um. So we will be using Tabletop Simulator, of course, to go through. I found a scripted version of those of Catan. Um, so it'll make it actually very easy and quick for everything to go. Um. As you can see, if you roll the dice, you know, it'll tell you what you get. Oh, what? 
Oh, yep. Yeah. The Rolls burglar, the robber. Yeah, 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 yeah. Burglar Baggins comes out. <laughs> burglar Baggins. <laughs> With his magical movie. ring. You know? Yeah. Um But we'll we'll go over some things. Sellers of Catan, the base game is three to four players or three to five. I think it's three to four because then it goes five to six in the expansion. Um and pretty much what you're doing is you're trying to get enough victory points to win the game. Um, you get victory points by... It's all about the sweet victory. Yep. You get Ooh. victory points by, you know, building settlements, cities, and development cards. Um, and the first... What is it? Exactly. I think it's 10. I, I believe that's it is... 10 as well you just from uh, my deep understanding of settlers of Catan. let me just uh go through the end game blah 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 uh so once you reach 10 the game ends um and there's multiple ways to go through it there's multiple victory points uh you can get like largest army longest road Things of that nature, and you're just trying to beat out your opponents to get to 10 victory points. Um, the rules are vast. And we're going to just try and go through them as best as we can right at the start of the game. So, over here, you can see all the resource cards. We have lumber, brick, wool, grain, and ore. We are going to use those resources to be able to create things to give us victory building our settlements building our cities um development cards which can give us our um knights our knights one like actually just straight victory points and then um they can give you specialty cards that allow certain things to happen try and pull out each one of those right now no are hey nielski real quick how do you uh zoom in on the board again scroll wheel or you're a mac i am a mac i have a mouse set. oh hold on i did i busted out i stole my mom's mouse there you go sometimes you gotta <laughs> steal mice yeah Ooh. Never know. rob your mother, kids. That's not <laughs> what we're about. Mad love to the moms. That's right. Um, Dude, that's race. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the cards. I don't think I'm missing. I have pulled out each of the cards that are in there. Um, there is a card breakdown for advanced gameplay because you can count how many nights are out and yada yada yada. We won't really worry about that right now because we just want to get the base game going, start playing and havoc on each other. So you know these are the these are your development cards that you can pull out, and a development card costs one sheep, one wheat, one ore. So they're pretty cheap to make. People's strategy is just to buy d cards development cards and um try and win that way so you can of course get a knight which allows you to move the robber and steal of a settlement an adjacent settlement you're a plenty which allows you to get two resources the chapel which gives you a victory point and other there's other there's like a library and things like that but it's pretty much just a victory point card um Monopoly, which allows you to denounce one type of resource and claim it all from everybody. Everybody has to hand it over. Um, similar to Monopoly, taking all the product. And then road building allows you to just two roads. Um, pretty much during your turn, you can build as many things as you as you can with the resources. So, you know, you could build five roads if you had that much brick and wood. 
You could build um, as many settlements as you have in your pool. Build as many cities. You can you could buy as many D cards, development cards. Um, the only thing about development cards that's a little different is you can't use a development card on the turn you bought it. So the one card that you, however many cards you buy during that turn, you cannot use them that turn. It has to come back to you before you can use the cards. You can only use one per um round per turn just so we're, we all know about that um, that pretty much takes care of development cards um the one thing that you can get out of development cards is the longest army the longest army is pretty much the first person to get three night cards on their side gets the long, the largest army and then any player that would succeed whoever's in the lead. So if you if Cody ended up having three and then I got four, I would get the largest army. So these are what we call flux points. Because they can they can move around. They're fluid. They're not they're not just hey whoever gets this has these two victories. Same I'm, thing. I'm not a plumber. I just flux a lot. Exactly. Same thing with largest uh longest road. Um, as long as you have five segments in a continuous line, unbroken, um, you get two victory points. For that. And then it's, uh, you know, you only have 15, you only have 15, um, roads to begin with, um, out of each person. So the longest road is 15. Some people make sure that they build exactly so they get to 15. First, because that's the only way to take the long solid point. Same thing with the knights, technically, because there's only so many knight cards. So if you, you're the first one to get to that maximum, that is how they can become stagnant. Other than that, other than those two points and the development card points, it all comes down to your settlements and cities. Um. Which settlement, as we said before, in our building costs, you know, besides what resources it costs, it's one victory point per settlement. And then if you build a city on top of your settlement, now it's worth two instead of just you have, you know, four cities, five settlements. You can end up putting out, you know, all of your settlements in all your cities type of thing to get it. it there's multiple ways to win, multiple ways to skin that cat, as, as they say. Um, multiple ways to ranch that bone pony. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, the base aspect of this game is probability on dice. Um, the game does a great job of telling you what the probability is for rolling certain things by the dots on the board. I'll zoom in here for anybody watching at home. Um. So anything that's labeled Yeah. So anything that is labeled in red, like right now a six is red and eights are red. Those are supposed to be the highest probability dice rolls you will get throughout the game. So usually eights and sixes should pop up more. Mind you, don't always take that to consider, you know, don't always take that to factual evidence because probability uh, likes to likes to tell you you're wrong. <laughs> and somehow 12s and 11s will be the most thing rolled on the board. But these that's what these dots represent at the bottom of the number is the probability that they'll be wrong. The more dots there are, the higher the probability category they're in, the less dots, the lower the probability. The way you would collect a resource is, say, the only places your settlements can go are on corners or adjacent tiles. So anywhere where tiles would connect, each of those is where a settlement or city can go, and roads can only go on the long point of the hex sides. Um, so a road can't go where a settlement is. That would just continue. So, like, if I had my settlement right here on the six, the six grain, eleven lumber, and five sheep, 
anytime a five, six, and an eleven was rolled, I would get that res. I would get the resource that the numbers. Say. Um. There's other cool things like the trading ports. So at any time you can always trade in four of one resource, four of the same resource for one of any resource. Um, trading ports is the only time that that's different. So if I had a settlement set on one of these trading ports, like this two for one uh, sheep trading port, I can put in two of one resource to get one sheep instead of the four for one. They're also very nice to have if that's your. Other than that, I believe we've explained everything to start the game. Besides how uh, opening scenes goes, does anybody have any questions? Everybody. No, I'm here. I uh, I have no questions. <laughs> yeah, no, I understand. <laughs> Made sense. All right, so, so what we'll do is we'll just uh, roll one die to see who goes first. Damn, I got a one. Dice off the table. Good. Got a four. Six. Yeah, I'll, I'll re-roll it. He that's kept a, with a six, so it was meant to be. Good six. So Steve will go first. The way okay. this goes, you will take two settlements, two roads. These are your starting pieces. So the person who goes first, we are now doing the placement aspect. So okay. when it when it goes to your turn, you will put a settlement and a road down. Okay. Um, and then it'll go to Cody because we're going to the left. Cody, after Steve puts it one settlement and one road down, and the road has to be touching the settlement, you get to put do the same thing. And then, since I'm going last, I get to put, put down both of my settlements and both of my roads at the same time, and then it'll go back to Cody and then to you. So the reason why it's done that way, because it, it, the game believes it's the fairest, since you get the first choice, Steve, you're supposed to have one of the best territories... And then since I'm going last, I'm supposed to be able to plan out my settlements kind of with whatever is the worst, le you know, left over out of the first grabs. Okay. Is, is the idea of that. Okay. But I think, I think it's pretty cool. Pretty fair. Yeah. Um, all right, Steve. So put down your settlement. Uh, give me a second. No, you have no time. All right. Chat, rush, Steve. Chat don't. Damn you. He sounded very <laughs> convincing. All right. Chat I would also, I would like to take a moment to um, thank my good friend Lauren for a donation. She just donated to our cause. Nice. For, nice. for Extra Life. It's our first donation of 2 and 22. So thank you so much, Lauren. Nice. Yes, thank you. Um, Another good uh, tip for this game is uh for just tabletop simulator you hover over something and you hit l l is the quick key lock um something to place our settlements i'm just gonna do that i'm gonna hover over and hit l so it locks okay if you hover over and hit l on it like if we have to change out the settlement you just hover over hit l gotcha it'll unlock it for you and out for okay but this way because since the dice very difficult to control the dice. Mm -hmm. Tabletop simulator. Throwing them. That's, I feel, the proper way. All right, Cody. Or settlement placement, yes. And I get to go on... I, I don't have to roll for a settlement, right? I can place nope. them you I place want. wherever you want. Yep, so right now what's happening is is we're just placing where our starting settlements are. And then the only the we'll roll each turn to get our uh, resources type of thing. Oh, I need to really plan. <sighs> so your 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 settlements go on the corners, Cody. Yeah, they gotta go there. Is that where you wanted that, Cody?
All right. So then it's my turn. Nope, oh, Cody, you gotta wait. Yeah, so everybody pretty much does one, but since I'm the person last who's placing, it pretty much goes from Steve down and then back for Um, so I get to play. Yeah, I did, I did like that, that it goes down and then back. Oh, another uh, another big point I should have mentioned prior is this is so if you look at where I just placed my settlement next to near Steve's settlement, this is as close as you can get with a settlement. Um, so you have to be two spots away. Okay. There has to pretty much be a spot in between you and a settlement. Um, so like I technically could not place on that nine, five, and ten because settlement. I also couldn't place on the Five eight four, where his road is. Um, ten eight. Um, would, I, but I, would I be able to place? No. You okay. could place on this point here. Mm -hmm. Um, for the three for one port because you end up your one settlement. Over. Gotcha. Um. all right that is my placements cody it's back to you Now, Cody, keep in mind with a placement there, I just want to make this a note. You're only, you are limiting how many resources you pull off of a settlement. Just, just to make sure you're aware. You only ever, you know, right now you only have five resource pulls where, like, me, well, depending where Steve goes, I have six, technically. But also, it might be a good play because now you're, you know, getting yourself an or with. Yeah. All right. And then, like, think... and double check your like building cost card. Yeah. Um, to make sure like early game stuff is gonna be your settlement. Um, right. so you're gonna want to make sure you at least have wood, brick, sheep, yeah. and wheat. Right. So where I'm set up right now, I would be getting pasture. Yep. So sheep. Okay. Wood and brick is right. uh, where that one is. Get yeah, wheat. Right. Okay. I see what you're saying. So yeah, I am going to move it if I if you guys are cool with yeah, that. Yeah, I'm good with that. That's why I wanted yeah. to let you know. All right. So I will go... Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. I will go. Can I do that? Nope, because oh. you have to be one spot away from another person's okay. settlement. Any so, any settlement. Alright. So this would, would that right one's here be a... Yep, that's a legal play. Okay. Gotta move your Yes. We're on the road to nowhere. Alrighty. Leave Hang. Thank you for Thank catching you. that. No, no problem. Alright, let's see. Where do I want to put my <clears throat> my stuff? What do you need? Uh I need all of that. Uh, wait, no, no, I don't. 
<laughs> Never mind. Um, uh, 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 fire. Um, let's see here. Let us see, indeed. Oh, man. Um, not a lot of hills in this map, huh? Um, a hill, like like these hilly areas where you get the bricks from. Oh, the clay deposits, yeah. Uh, I mean, man. it's it's always the same amount. Yeah, but they're placed in in <laughs> weird ways. So that's also a fun thing about this game, as Steve's making his decision. So the tile numbers are always this, like the amount of hexes the tiles that is around is always the same the thing that changes the the layout is where they're placed and what number they are. that's why each game is pretty much a different um strategy that you kind of need to yeah shoot i wasn't i wasn't thinking when i put my i i was thinking i was thinking stuff was different um okay let me <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, this geez. sucks. Oh, dang. Um, oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, that's a rough one, I guess, because if you're going to get brick anywhere, you have to do a... You have yeah, to limit that's... yourself to a two, huh? Yeah. I guess I'll put it there. Go like right. that. All right. So now, once we have everything placed, what you will do is for each territory a settlement is on, you will pick up the resource. Like for my settlement that's right here, I will get one sheep, one grain, one brick. And then for my other side, I will get a brick, a wood, and an ore. Um, if it is overlapping, like Cody, you have um, two settlements on this 10, you will get the resource from that 10 twice. Um, it'll be no different if a 10 is rolled, you will get that resource for what, however many settlements are on that. As their cards drawn, you want to keep them. Gotcha. Oops. Trading. Gotcha. And like the Monopoly card. Mm -hmm. if I, if you... And if you just press one on it, Cody, it'll draw it right to you. Should end up having two bricks, two, one grain. All righty. And so this is another thing. Yeah, it's first to 10 victory points, but as you can see right now, we each have. Alrighty. Now that we are all set, Steve, start us off. Oh, um, one last thing I need to mention, I need to make sure I get everything right, is the robber. Now that we are <coughs> Ooh, sorry. set up to a point, um, the robber can be moved two ways. Natural way is with by rolling a seven. Um and then the Forced kind of way is by rolling 
or not rolling a night or playing playing a night. Um so kind of the first the first way here is if you roll a seven, um each player needs to count their resource cards in hand. Any player with more than seven resource cards, so or more, must choose and discard half of them. And you just return them right to this the the decks here. So you don't really want to have like a huge um amount of resources in your hand because it's it risky with every roll. Um, and then whoever rolled the seven gets to move the robber to any tile. Um, so like say, you know, you rolled the seven, you wanted to put it on this this brick here. It would stop any time this nine is rolled. Nobody gets the resource, and you get to choose either one of us. It would be me or Steve, um, in this example, to steal one resource card from at random. Um, if it's moved by a knight, you still get to do the whole stealing aspect. It still blocks that tile out. It's just anybody. If you have you know eight or more cards, you don't have to discard down because you didn't roll the seven. That's that's the difference. Um but yeah, the knight is or the robber is really good at uh you know, kind of messing over your people. Sometimes you can you can make deals, you can say, Hey, I won't put the knight here if you give or you're the robber here if you give this reason type of thing. You know. Or, you know, some people all like to, you know, ask, Hey, does anybody got sheep you know, for trade? Try and play it off as they they didn't just roll a seven. Now, oop, I'm I'm gonna put that there. They also do that with night cards, <laughs> um, just just for ideas. Um, mm -hmm. other than that, I think we're ready. All right. So I just roll and and whatever whatever number comes up, th that resource is mine. Correct. It is nope. So if it comes, anybody who is touching that number gets that. Yeah. Resource. That's right. yeah. That's what I yeah. So it's it's got to be where whatever settlement number. I I know I'm, I'm awful. So it can't. Well, you got a one. Just reroll the yellow one. I can. I'll just reroll both. No, you the one was on the table, Steve. I can't believe this. <laughs> Wait. I I think oh, I can't. I don't. I don't agree with this, but. Continue on. So, Cody, you get one wood. Steve, you get an ore. No, I no. He has to keep the one that was on the table. Okay. Okay. Good. Fine. Fine. So it's a six. BS. That's BS. Okay. Fine. So, so Neil, you get two resources, and neither of us get anything. Okay. You get Neil. You get an ore and a and a thing. Sounds good. Okay, so now once you roll, it goes into your building phase. So, Steve, you're the only one who could build right now if you wanted to build anything or buy a development card, anything. Um, and then keep in mind, you know, now you need to build your roads to be able to build a settlement. Right. You know, and you can only build, because you can only build on what you already have exist. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see here. Um, and can I trade during this time as yep. well? Yep. So you could ask anybody if they wanted to trade certain things. Any... Okay. Uh, does anyone want to trade uh wood for en for anything? Okay. Um, then I will. Let's see, I will give. Uh, do I want to do that? You will give your resources to me, otherwise I'll continue to raid your lands. No, that's cool. <laughs> um, what do I want to do? I'll, I demand Dane Geld. I'll hold off for now. I'll just end my turn. Cody, it is your turn now. Get to roll dice here. The Koopa de Doofa. Alright. Uh, nope, that's one. I need both. Come on. Give you... Sometimes I think there we go. Holding up. Yeah, bye bye. Oof. Author six. Yeah, that's a bummer. Good for you though. I'm yeah, but I'm worried I'm gonna roll a 
Well, a seven now. So now it's my building phase, correct? Correct. You could build, trade, whatever you want. It's like your action. Your your action. But you okay. always have to roll. Alright, well, I'm going to build a road. I want to put it there. Okay, and then I'm also going to build a settlement. Sure, you're throwing out your. Yes. And you that is not a. You can't build the settlement. Remember, it has to be. Me too. Block. Oh, okay. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's got to be one empty space. Oh, okay. Uh... So the settlement you can't play. I don't know if that changes your road way. Yes, it will. Yeah, I want to put the road next to this settlement, right? Okay. Yes. And then I want to put the other settlement right there on the corner. No, because this is still it's the same exact oh. play. Oh yeah. crap! Because re because remember, you got you got a settlement here and a settlement yeah. here. It's got to be oh, okay. like yeah, that's can... this one's a legal play here, or that would be okay. a legal play there. Yeah, for the settlement. For the settlement, but you can't build it until you have roads. Without, so like if right, you built okay. your road here, you could build a yes. settlement there. Or if you yeah, built okay. your road over here, you could build a settlement here. That's where I want to go. Okay, good call, Neil. Thank you. Problem. Eventually, the gloves are coming off. I know. <laughs> <laughs> My time is limited. Um, so, so how do I? It'll be a wood and a brick for the road. Yeah, I I have to discard everything I have. Yep, because then it'll be a one of each besides an old first. Yep. Good play. Cody technically and taking the lead. And I have nothing to trade, so I am not trading. Okay. Woof! Sixes! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Cody, you make sure you get your wheat. Now on a six with me. Okie dokie. Time to uh, figure out what I'm doing here. Holy shit. <laughs> oh. Gonna build at least. And well, then, to be fair, you you just you got three sixes in a row. Yeah, I did not think they were gonna... <laughs> <laughs> They're shutting us down. <laughs> That's it. So I'm going to trade in four of my ore for a wood, and that would make I don't. A fine play, sir. I have my old people that have a port. All right, Sivan. Old people. Seven. Oh, boy. All righty. Well. I don't think anybody is over cards. Over seven cards. So, Steve, you get to play that wherever you well, I'm sorry to both of you, but I have to do this because those sixes are too fuck too powerful. Well, let me shuffle my cards because Cody doesn't have a card, so Steve has claimed the first enemy. So do I get to take something from you? You have to take one card. Okay. I've now finished my shuffle. Oh. Those, for those watching at home that just watched me shuffle three wheat, welcome. 
Thank you for giving me <laughs> the resource that I already had in abundance. Oh, you know nothing of abundance. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have those cards on the table right now, so... Well, that's because I, I, I just did. That's because I just did a four for one out of ores. <laughs> well, whose fa whose fault is that, Neil? Not mine. Um, it's because I live in abundance. <laughs> let's see, and then what do I want to do? Uh, well, it looks like that. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Why not? I'll give one, one card, any one of these. How do I how do I flip it over? F. And can I play it now? Or, oh no, I have to wait for the next turn. Correct. Okay. Um. All right. That ends my turn. All right, Cody. Time for our roll. Ooh, a four. I get wood. Damn, Cody. Have nothing. Um, so I'm gathering your turns over, Cody. <laughs> So. Let's go. Right, because now from now on, you only collect when it rolls your number, right? When it rolls a number that a settlement is. Yep. That right. you have a settlement on. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Well, Steve. Yeah, I I kind of figured. Okay. Unless there's a, I don't I don't really want to be too rude, but I only have two choices to really play that on yet. Yeah, I I know. That's fine. Um, do you want to shuffle your cards? I of course can't get your development card. Uh, uh for or am I just gonna pick it ran? Uh, There you go. Grab the one I didn't want you to. All right, that's fine. Where to go? Is what we do. Use that brick, that wood, and build it. Happy with. Oof. That brick back. Alright, and then I will play my card. I will get two of those. And then I will spend a brick and a lumber to build a road. Right there. Thank you. That is for your turn. That is it for my turn. All right, Cody. I don't think that's a rule. <laughs> oh, that's a rule. Yeah. Ooh, a nice 11! Look at you, Cody. Two wood. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good roll. Who knew the 11s were going to play out? And the sun. Eating this farm is...
Are you done, Cody? Yeah, I was just I was just thinking, but I yeah, I'm gonna I'll end my turn there. Well, I gotta I gotta spread the love. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna put it on the three, Cody. I feel like hurt you. Bad. I don't wanna be too rough yet. But uh or shuffle around your, your cards here. Unless you want me to take one. That one. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> uh. All right, so I'm going to build another road. Hmm. Okay. That's me. Oh, there's a two! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> I, I did not expect a two to be rolled at all this game. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'll take it. My my ore people are working hard. Unbelievable. Uh, is there anything I can do? Nope. There is not. What type of resources you got? Um, hmm. Uh, let's see. Do you have any brick? I have any? What about sheep? Uh, I haven't had a sheep rolled. I don't think it's single oh, five. Go. Single five okay. hasn't been rolled at all yet. Well, I'm. I don't have anything. Alrighty then. You have anything I need? So. There you go. I believe. Yeah. Ooh, an eight. Ooh. Are you doing anything, Cody? Yeah, if I trade, can I build after, or you have to build and then trade? Nope, you can you can trade at any point in time or anything. Okay, so the endless blue hordes, um, we're we're willing to trade. Yeah. We have we have wheat, and we're looking for a single brick. Is anybody interested in a wheat or a brick? This point in time. Find them. I as well. Okay. We'll have to decline. All right. We should keep our wheat. Yes. Oh, I rolled a six. Well, this is time. <laughs> um, 
Well, seems like all the trades that are not, not going well. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, shush, yes. Yeah. Oh, nines. Oh, nines. Nine, nine. All right. Does anyone have sheep? No, sheep has not been rolled. Cody's hiding sheep. You hiding sheep, Cody? <sighs> Thank you for. Indeed. Um. All right. Is there anything else I want to do? I think I'm good. I think that ends my turn. All righty. A lot of resource gathering. Cody, show them what, show them what you got. Really struggling with. Oh, an eight. Making a plays, Cody. Yeah, I am the the blue hordes are offering um either a trade of a wheat or a trade of uh a lumber for for a brick. Um I have a lumber. I will I will trade a lumber for a brick. Okay. Thank you, sir. And then with my newly acquired brick and my lumber, I will build a road. Can I build a road right here? Yep. Okay. Yeah, as long as your road is touching either a road or a settlement. I got you. Get in there, road. And I have to get rid of my lumber. And I have to get rid of my brick. Okay. And I will end my turn there. Alrighty. Poof. <laughs> I was worried. It's another. Alrighty, time to go with this. I am going to use a brick with the road. I'm willing to trade. I'm willing to trade two ore for a wheat. The blue hordes will trade the wheat. I will. Oh. oh. I'm willing to trade as well. Oh. I'm willing to give two wheats for two ore. Huh. Two. Can Steve, you any, are, are you a kind of offering? I 
cannot match that author. I, sorry. There's your weed, sir. Thank you. Which point I will now take four ore and trade it in four for one to get a, a wood. And then I will take four wheat, trade it in trade in the four wheat for a sheep. And then I will do a brick and another wheat. Build another settlement. Mega play. And I go from like 10 cards to one. All right, Steve. Yeah, mega play is because of you, Cody. I just want you to remember that. Uh, all right, let's see here. What do we got? 10. Do I get two wheat for that? Correct. Cody will get two brick. No, I think that, that mega play would have happened regardless, no matter how much wheat. Uh, <laughs> as long as I got one. Yeah, that's fair. All right. Let's see here now. Uh, what do I want to do? Uh, I'll trade in four grain for a sheep. That are the moves. <laughs> they, yes, they are. They are quite the moves. And then I will also... Uh, yeah, you know what, I'll do that. Oh no! Actually, no, I won't because that I can't build there. Um. Yeah, that'll end my turn. Ready, Cody. X. Oh my God. Six. And for anybody tuning in now who hasn't, it's all uh, for Extra Life, all for the kids. Yep. Trying to get some money for any kids in yeah. that work at the hospital. Absolutely. It's a fantastic cause. You mm -hmm. say good cause. 62 kids walk into those hospitals every minute looking for help, according yep. to what Extra Life sent us. So Just crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. So any little bit helps. Um, I'm going to elect to build a road. Oh my! God. So I'm going to trade a lumber and a brick. Oops, hold on. Don't do that. Okay. Oops. I got. It. And my road. I want to build over here, the, the other side of yep. the settlement. And I'm willing to trade a brick for an ore, if anyone gotcha. would like to make that deal. Thank you. The Blue Hordes like doing business with you. That is good. Uh, Off time. I know, I'm not used to using the damn uh, mouse. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I would like to, if I can, I'd like to build a city. Yeah. 
We built this city on rock. So, hey, just so you know, a city, a city takes a spot of a settlement. And when okay. you play the city, you if a card, you know, if that number pops up and your city's on it, you pull two resources. There. Instead of just the one type right. of thing. So, like, so if you did it on like one of your replace... brick spots, you would actually yeah, pull, wanna... like, three brick. I want to replace this guy. With a city. Um, Thank you. Since I'm incapable. Passes. Shibuya. It is 4-4. Four, four, and 2. Steve is gonna... The underdog this match. Yeah, I, I screwed myself in this game. At the, at the start, I realized. It is... Yet early. I, I I know, but I really I really screwed myself over. Did you uh Cody, how much ore did you? Three. Yeah. Yep, my cost is two weeds and three ores. Yep. I'm guessing that's it for you, right? It is, man. Alrighty. I built my city with we and or live sheep. <laughs> Sheep's back in the game. Sheep's back on the menu, boys. Do I get one? Yeah, you do because you're live here. Yeah, man. Give me uh... a sheep. I'm happy now. But he got some wood. I've got a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> guessing, I'm guessing you don't have any for trade. I mean, I got a sheep too. <laughs> no, no. no. Do, you have, do you have any wood you're willing to part with? I don't, but I have yeah. sheep. I don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, it's your turn. There you go. Oh, I guess I could have done. Hold on, before you roll. Okay. All right. Three. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> I'm now glad this robber is here. Oh, that is rough. <laughs> I am glad as well. Um. <clears throat> Does anyone want to trade for? Does anyone have any wheat that they'd be willing to trade for? What do you offer? Uh, I got ore and I got wool. I will respectfully. Blue horde. I I I have a question. Yeah. So because the robbers on the three, I don't receive any. Nope. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I figured. That that one uh, no. was a hard hit. <laughs> yeah, so the blue horde is going to uh, hold on to their sheep and um, wait patiently. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, what about their wheat? Are they going to part with their wheat or? I have no wheat. I have a okay. sheep. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's my turn then. <laughs> Exciting gameplay here. There's a good ball. Okay, it's still a five. <laughs> what do you get a wood? Or no, another sheep, no, I lied. You get a sheep. You get a sheep. Sheep farmer. Okay. I'm guessing there's nothing you can do there, right? <laughs> hey. It's a hard life for a man with only two sheep and a whole city to maintain. <laughs> you know, you know, how could you do this to me? I have you know, to move. Did... I have to move the robber. Yeah, but you don't have to move him there specifically. <laughs> where, where, 
What deal I, are you on? I mean, um, I got sheep and I got ore. <laughs> what do you want? I'll give you, I'll give you one of either to not put. Sure, those are... Well, that's that's what I got. <laughs> so. Oh, I won't be mean. Do what your heart tells you. Okay. You gotta, you gotta shuffle it. Uh, uh, how do I just, is there a button I can just press to shuffle or? Sadly, no, not in your. Okay. Blindfold. Can you even see? No, I'm blindfolded. All right, go for it. Blindfold. That card. Okay. Okay. Thank God. All right. <laughs> yeah, we're going to start doing some plays, I think. Mm. Play this now. Back onto that. Uh oh. You can blame Steve for me robbing you. I mean, you... <clears throat> why? I want, to story. I want to tell you a story about my people, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, one of my many Irish clans that make up my ancestry, the name is Dolan, and some older members, like great-grandparents, used to say that we were sheep thieves, and that we were... Uh, like ostracized from from one of the towns that we were in because we were still pagan and still <clears> stealing <throat> sheep and not living in the town. So oh. it was always kind of like an inside joke. And then I met a friend's grandfather who was really big into Irish genealogy, and he asked me about the various family names that I have. Mm -hmm. And so I mentioned the Dolan, and he was like, Oh, from Ross Common? And I said, yeah, exactly. And he's like, yeah, sheep thieves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so it's it's destiny. The dice gods have... I'm, I'm know, now doing retribution for exactly. all of being, the sheep thefts. Yeah. For hundreds of years of, <laughs> of sheep, thief. sheep thievery. <laughs> That's pretty good. At the hands of my ancestors. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, Steve. All right. Man, Steve, I didn't even realize you lucked out. That you were one card low. Ooh, oh, lucky. nobody gets. Oh, I get Lumba. Oh. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. I didn't even notice. Uh... Da -da 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 -da. Buzz, buzz. Well, no one's willing to get rid of any wheat for me, so. I don't need. So, my turn's over. Oh, Cote. A sheep thief. Well, I guess in the out there. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Time for the time for the sheep thief to get his revenge. Ah! <laughs> I'll do it. You know who the real enemy? I think you could also technically. You technically, all right, so you technically can move it to any territory. It doesn't have to be where somebody else is. Um, Run it on that nine. The right play. He gets both. All right, who are you stealing yeah. from? You're muted.
the the blue hordes have little choice in who they are going to seek retribution on. Recently, we have been robbed of one of our finest sheep, and also we had a robber placed that was preventing us from collecting lumber and much needed sheeps. So Neil shuffle. Ball, Steve's fault. Yeah, yeah. I'm the, one, I'm the one that made him roll those sevens completely, 100%. This is no, all your head high, boy, because the axe is coming. I will never kneel to the Empire. You are kneel. You are born to kneel. Yeah, you're good, man. <laughs> all right. Shabuya. What the hell? <laughs> These were dangerous times in the Empire. <laughs> I think that'll do it for me. I don't know where the hell my wheat just went, though. Oh, it's right here. Oh, cool. Thank you. Um, and yeah, I can't do anything with that. So, oh, okay. Oh, that was pretty. It's. So what I will do is put these brick, put these lumber. Then I am going to play my Year of Plenty card, build another road. Um, one, two, three, five, six. I now have road. That is my okay. Come on, ten, nine, damn, so close to ten, and I don't get anything. Um, see, Steve, who got hurt there? I don't get to. I don't get that right. The robber just no. Nope. It. Yeah, it's just the robber. Right. Um, okay. That'd be pretty wild house rules. Let's see here. Uh... <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I need... Will Steven figure out his turn? Uh, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Oh no, the Lord got another robber. <laughs> An emphasis on the thief part of the sheep thief thing there. Well, then he's no longer stealing uh, sheep. Mm. Where is that going? I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to like to keep it there. I believe it has to move. I think you. Ha yeah, I think oh, you have okay. to move it. All right. Yeah, so must move the robber to the number token of any other terrain hex. Or to the desert hex. No, that is too easy. To move it to the desert. I don't want to do that because I suffer there. Hmm. That's rude. Yep. Here's your card. Excellent. <laughs> War has begun. <laughs> quite happy with this development. I'm going to build a settlement. I 
can't even build there. Nope. It has to be here. Uh, it has to be here. I see. One more. I do. So what I will do is I will build a road instead. Oh my god. Come on, mouse. Actually, I think it would be better over here, right? I don't know. I'm yeah. not helping. I know, but <laughs> then I would be able to draw more sources instead of having the desert there. Uh, so that is what I want to do. Excuse me. It's okay. But you did. No, that aggressive. Meant to burn. And that will end my turn. Good dog, yeah. I can't. He now gets three wood. Oh my gosh. You did this, Neil. No, you did. Yeah, you're you're right. Your turn. <laughs> what? I can't do anything. I have no reason. Six is it? Yeah, I realize that. Presley's Does anyone want to trade wheat for ore? No, I'll trade. Right. Huh? Oh, thank you. Great. Okay. Do you have more ore to trade? I do not. Um, but now, uh, <laughs> let's see here. I need a sheep, wheat, lumber, brick, and I will build this. <clears throat> I'm going to throw a settlement right there. And that will end my turn. Would anybody be interested in trading a brick for a wood? No. What about two timbers for one brick? No. Neil status quo. Hmm. Uh, I don't. I don't think right now. Fair enough. Or um, or that cities. Will... Mm hmm. Maybe. I seem to remember somebody sent a 
unwanted military presence to steal my sheep. So well, it, that started the whole conflict. <laughs> I, I don't know about that. <laughs> I had two sheep and you took one of them. Yeah. It was for a That's better cause. Ridiculous. No. <laughs> a better cause. Listen to yeah. this guy. Yeah. I'm I'm going to end my turn there, unfortunately. <laughs> I've been right. stifled. The sheep. I'll trade you a sheep back for. <laughs> I'm looking for brick. I can't. I I can't. I cannot offer you a brick in these trying times. Mm. Two lumber is what your last offer was. You are correct, sir. Two lumbers. Two trees for the brick. Uh, I'll make that. Excellent. Pleasure. I will trade in three ore at my three for one port. Um, that'll be it for me. So does this port that I have here mean that I can trade two sheep and get one of any thing in return? Correct. Okay. Wish I'd realized that. Um, in that case, I will roll my dice first. I get five. Oh, nice. No sheep. Then I will trade in two of my sheep to get a wood and can I do anything with that? No. Or actually I can. Uh what, 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 what do I wanna do? I think I'll do that. Trade in those two to build a road. And that'll end my turn. Words. Nine. I'm sorry. Okay. What am I going to do? I'm going to build a settlement. And I believe that I can place it right there. Correct. Yes, yeah, over. Oh, yes, never mind. At the end of two of my roads. I. Taken. There is a sheep. There is a brick. There is a crane. And there is a timber.
Is anybody willing to trade an ore for a sheep? Uh, no. Okay, then I will end my turn. Now! <laughs> Uh, I'll trade a sheep. I don't have any wood to offer. I'm not interested in sheep. I need an ore. But I do have lumber. I got enough. I can offer you an ore for a lumber. Uh, not on my turn. Not on your yeah, turn. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. But good to know. I'll give you. I'll give you a sheep for an ore. Um. I will also give you a sheep. Stop making offers on my turn. No, I need. Offers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm good on that. I'll give you two sheep for an hour. I'm good. I'm good on sheep. Thank you. I'm literally giving you another resource. Any resource by giving you two sheep. What do you mean you're good on sheep? You have a sheep port. I know. Um. No, I'm hmm. done here. Okay. <laughs> preposterous. You're preposterous. So it is Steven's turn. Yes. How did I do that? Held your hand. It's a brick. Bow, bow, bow. House. He might mind him. <laughs> He's letting it all hang out. You know it. Um. Anyone got any wheat? They'd be willing to part with for some ore. No, I have lumber <laughs> that I will part for ore. I will. Okay. Here's one <laughs> ore for one lumber, please. There you go. Gracias, Senor Ford. De nada. <laughs> uh, Look at that robber. I know. All right, I will do. down my. I'll do this. Making roads. Making roads. You know it. That's my turn. Clickety clack, clack, click. And got three back. I got two wheat. Ha ha. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> he had all the that blue lumber. hordes, baby. <laughs> he had all the lumber. Blue hordes. All right. I am going to part with a grain. I'm going to part with a sheep. Kind of. And I'm trying to get rid of an ore. And I'm going to get a D card. I cannot play it this turn. And then I would like to trade in, oh God, come on, mouse. 
a lumber and also a brick and I'm going to build a road and I believe I can build the road in between 11 and 4 and get to the port and build it and that is where I want to place it <sighs> then That will end my turn. Alrighty. Uh oh. What do I want? Have any? No. Three for one, my sheep. Two for one, crack with my crack for it. For All right, I will use my sheep port, trade two sheep for one ore, and then I will take my two grain and my three ore to convert this settlement into a city. Oh, I didn't, I didn't roll my dice. Whoops. Yeah, um, you got that first. So I'll do that. As and long then, as you don't land on a seven. Yeah. And if I roll a, an eight or a, th a three, I'll. Uh, where's the other? Oh, it's right there. Five or six. Okay, so I don't get anything anyway. Um. Yeah, that's my turn. Okay. So it begins the Ragnarok. <laughs> Wrong game. Is it? I mean, that's that's the game we played like six I months. I know. You missed it. Miss it. <laughs> oh, Let me no. help you, old man. Just roll. You have a. You have oh, a city, no! but. <laughs> and baby. Uh, what did I just get? How many sheep is that? Well, no, you That's get three bricks. brick. Three all that green. Yeah, baby. <clears throat> yeah, baby. All right. And then what I want to do... Oh, man. I'm going to play my D card. goes over here. I'm playing a knight. So I get to move the robber, correct? Correct. Hmm. I'm 
gonna move it to. Oh, but this is going to hurt me as well. Do, 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 do. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna move it to the six. And then I get to steal a resource from an adjacent thing, right? Yeah. What the hell did I just do with my wheat? Word. Word. It's in. Okay. Um, and then I would like to build a settlement. Oh, shit. <laughs> I can't. Uh-oh. Um, would anybody, is anybody looking for wheat? Nope. Or a, sh or a sheep? Nope. Or some brick? I was, need some brick? I was stolen from, so. I, yeah, I don't have, I don't need any of those things. At the moment. Okay. You're right. So, what am I to do? Suffer, I guess. Suffer. I will ex I'll exchange a sheep, a grain, and an ore. And I will pick another guitar. Mm, I don't believe so. No, I am. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're good. Oh, the trusty 12. Well, leave it your turn. Well, let's see what we do. Somehow hurt. Cause... I'm not here to hurt my friends. Aha! You try and stop me from getting ore, I will still get ore. <laughs> uh, I just want to sit here now. What can I do? Can I do anything? I cannot at the moment. Hmm. Does anyone have wood that they'd be willing to trade for grain? I don't even. That's my turn then. <laughs> don't help him. Whatever you do, don't help yourself. Yeah, I mean, obviously. I wasn't going to say it, but yeah, help me. Son of a... Thank you. Thank God you the... damn it. Ugh. Or we... I love it. I love it. I love it. This is bad. I'm going to be addicted to this game. <laughs> it's like Age of Empires. I love it. it. It's a good game. I really like it. Yeah. All right. What can I do? First and foremost, the Blue Hordes, the Endless Blue Hordes, are going to... You're going to play another night. <laughs> construct a great library. Mm. 
then. Is anybody looking for green or bricks? Nope. And everything is a four for one, correct? Yes. For you. Okay. Yes, for you. All right, so. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that's true. Hmm. Then I will part with four grain, and I'm going to exchange that for a timber. Yeah. And then I'm going to build a settlement. I love and I'm going to build it in the port. Port helps you for nothing. Ah, <laughs> so upset. And that will be a brick or a sheep. One of my bricks. And my last grain. I know, I'm such a I'm such a menace. And then I will part with my remaining bricks. For another wood. And that will end my turn. Wow, this game. Oh, yeah, baby. I like. Oh yeah, baby. What's that? Two, two timbers for me. Three or three. Shipping me timbers, baby. Are you willing to trade? I just got three ore, so I'm good on ore for right now. Hang on one second, guys. Damn you, Cody. I can't believe you. Sorry, Neil. I can't believe you do this to me. Hey, man. Out of all the things you go for, you go for the port? That port. Yeah, man, I'm not going to be landlocked. <laughs> and I knew you were going there, so I'm like, nope. I'm back. We'll Thanks. take this moment. We'll say, uh, Extra Life supporters, or anybody in chat watching our stream, if you want to donate to help some kids uh, that really could use the help. Absolutely. Absolutely. Be donating to a great cause, helping some kids who are sick. The next, next person that donates ten dollars or more, uh, we'll hook them up with a with a free copy of our Terror and Portacala. How about that? It's pretty good. Does that sound good to you guys? Yeah, that's yeah. a that's a, that's a steal. That's a good deal. Absolutely. Yeah. And as always, we don't get any of the money from our fundraisers for extra life. It goes straight to extra life and the children's miracle network of hospitals. So yeah, just to clarify that. Oh, show. Absolutely. Please. Ah, okay. I no. <laughs> You're offering me or I don't, I don't need it. 
Um, three. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get two. Yeah, but somebody gets like 12. Well, whatever, man. Um, so I'm going to take those two wheat that I just got, <laughs> along with the three ore that I also just got. I'm going to take those. You have four wheat? Are we supposed to grab five because I have a city? Okay, so you do. You have two settlements. Oh, so it's four. Okay, yeah, I didn't grab anything yet, so. I'll do that right now. Two green. Shibuya roll call. And three of those. And I'm going to change this from a... Oh, jeez. Oh, I had to unlock it. This from a settlement to a city. And then I will... Hmm. Anything else I'm going to do? Uh, I think I'll end my turn. Yeah. Make me four of those. Is anybody looking for wheat or timber? What are you offering? Wheat or, or timber. Wheat or timber. I, uh, I want brick. You want brick. Okay. Uh, no. I don't, I don't have brick to trade. For a meal? No? Okay. So what I will do is I will burn up I'll get rid of four wheat for a brick, and then I want to build a road. And what's my port? I can't read it. It's a two for one for ore. You have to trade in. One of anything. Oh, I, oh hold on. I grabbed the... I shouldn't have given away that. Timber. It should have been a green. Not bad. All right. So then I got a brick. So then I'm going to get rid of a lumber. And I want to build a road. Hmm. I will build a road. Can I go right in between the 9 and the 11? Yep. Okay. And that will end my turn. All right, I'm gonna Everybody have uh Nobody has any lumber. 
Nope. I have lumber. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for brick. Okay, that's apparently a 10. <laughs> Take one more of that. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, I will do. I'll trade four wheat. Four. Four lumber, and then I will use a brick and a lumber to build a road. And that road will go here. And then I will send uh Yeah, I'll spend four more ore for another lumber, and then I will do a sheep, a wheat, and a brick to place a... Oh. Ah, dang, you're right. Okay, never mind then. I won't do that yet. Um, so I'll just throw down a... Uh... Sheep. Keep poor trade. Yeah. Oh, and a sheep. Okay. Um, and that will end my turn. All right, so oh, I got a big job, big job, big job, big job. So I'm going to trade in a lumber and I'm going to trade in a brick and I'm going to build a road uh, on the other side of this settlement and then I'm going to trade in a lumber and a brick and I'm going to connect my two settlements right there. And then I'm going to trade in another lumber and another brick. And Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I will drop it right there. 
Can I do that, Neil? Yeah, that's a legal play. Okay. And that will end my turn. I'm just going to step away for one second. I just want to get a new drink. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. You're so mad, Neil. Nah, I'm not that mad. Things are rolling well for me. Steve, do you have an aura and trade? Uh, I do not have any aura, unfortunately. That's it for my turn then. All right. It's for me right now. Um. Okay. So. Yeah. What did. What did you do before? Did I get anything? Yeah, so that, that four lumber that's right in front of you. That's oh, yours. Cool. Thank and you. To build a road. Because we're 11. Oh, mm -hmm. I will. That'll go right there. And then I will trade two sheep for one lumber. Why am I taking the lumber? And then I'm going to use the lumber as well as a sheep, a brick, and a grain to build a settlement right there. And that's my turn. <coughs> Excuse uh, me. Sheep. I'm sorry for everybody. All right, that's my turn. I try. Uh, Juju. Possibly. <sighs> what they say about nine. Up to upside down six. Who says that, Neil? I just did. Well, you're not they. You're a he. I'm going to... Fair. Fair enough. I will exchange four lumber for one brick. That's a lot of lumber there, bud. Dang. And then I'll exchange my last lumber with the brick to build another road. And boom. And that will end my turn. As long as that was a legal play on my road. Yep, you're good. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Another nine. What I needed, I can do things. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. 
All right. Last. Um. Don't think anybody. Oh. Let's see here. Five. Uh, how long is that? Two. Oh, five. All right. What can I do? Five. Does anyone have any? Uh, no, actually, I don't. Actually, I do. Um, does anyone have any wood? Cody. Yeah, you're probably right. Okay, that ends my turn then. Thank gosh. Uh -oh. Steve, are you over seven? Am I over seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven. Okay. We're all pretty much right, uh. Close yeah. game. Where are you moving it to, Cody? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, that's kind of rude. Very rude. Unbelievably rude. Taken from. I will, uh. Remember, there's one of us that hasn't taken anything from you this entire game. Don't yeah, listen. I'm gonna I'm gonna oh, take from Neil. Oh my gosh. You're my biggest threat right now. That's not even true. You are. You're a threat to my supremacy and the livelihood of my nation. So tell me when, son. How are you? All started over a sheep. I did. Um, and that will be it for me. Oh, my settlement. Well, well, oh, well. Wow. <laughs> what do we have here, Mr. Farrell? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna move move the robber on. Go. Um shuffle any. Uh, go. Um, does anybody have wheat? Trade? What are you What are you trading for? I'll give you a bar. 
Um, I know how okay. useful sheep are to work. Uh, hmm. I think I'm good on sheep for right now. Um, how many sheep are you offering? How many sheep are you, how many sheep are you offering? If I gave you two. Okay. That gives you any resource. Uh huh. You'd want. I I just wanna a wheat. I'll take that deal. Throw on my brick. Or. Right. Right. Um. Okay. Oh, Damn. Boy. Now I was contemplating that eight. I really would. Oh boy! Oh boy! Um. Let's see. What can I do with all that? Hmm. Eve's hand on I'll still, I'll still do that. So I'll trade those in for D card. And is there anything else I can do? Uh, I'll trade two sheep and Four or for two lumber. So I just have not been getting lucky with lumber. And that'll end my turn. Oh, wait. Um, can I add a brick it? Not at that point. I will. Ooh. Yeah, you know what? I'll do this. I'll put this down, build a road over, over here. Right? Is that where I want to? Yes. And then, um, blah, 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 blah. and then I will throw down one, two, three. Oh, I, oh, wait, I can't. No, I don't want to put a settlement there. Never mind. Um, yeah, yeah I, I realized that as I was doing it. Okay, that ends my turn then. Yeah. Okay, my peoples. Is anybody willing to trade either brick or wheat for timber? No. Okay. So what I will do is I will exchange four timbers. I'm yelling timber. He's going down. And I will take a wheat. And that will be the end of my turn. All righty.
Yeah. Oh no, my phone. Well. Uh. That goes. Leave it your turn. All right, let's see here. No, I guess you are not wrong. Seven. I get nothing. <laughs> More lumber for the masses. <laughs> not for the masses, just for you. Yeah. Well, two of our masses. You stinky, sneaky snake. Uh, let's see here. What do I want to do? Back to Thomas. You're a very stinky snake. Um, let's do play a knight. Move him here, and I'm gonna take one from Cody. Cause holy shit! <laughs> oh wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Cody has eight cards in his hand. What is that? Doesn't do anything because you played a knight. Ah, okay. You good? Cool. Alright. Uh, you good for me to take Cody or are you going to shuffle? Okay. Uh, this guy. All Cody, right. did, you, did you not want to lose your wheat? <laughs> <laughs> Good, right. good steal, good steal, Steve, good steal. <laughs> well, I tried. Um, and then I will... Mm... He has now made an enemy of the Horde. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna, pay, you're gonna pay for that one day. <laughs> I mean, it was gonna happen eventually. Uh, but then I will do that. I'll build a road over here. And that will end my turn. Huzzah! <laughs> this 12 and 2 have played more times than I thought they would. I don't get anything on that 12, right? Because I don't have a settlement close enough. Nope. Yeah, you don't have a settlement. Neil's, right. Neil's the only one that gets anything. Thought. All right, so I'm going to... Uh, would anybody like to trade lumber for either brick or wheat? Uh, lumber. Do I have lumber? I'm good. Lumber. I don't need lumber, unfortunately. So, I am going to exchange four parcels of lumber. And I am going to acquire a brick. No, I'm going to take a wheat instead. And then that will end my turn, good fellows. <sighs> well, what do we want? Hmm. 
Hmm. All right. So one brick and one lumber, another brick and another. That's it. Okay. Okay. Is there anything I can do with what I have? No. Does anyone have ore that they would be willing to trade for wheat? No? Okay. That'll end my turn then. Anybody want sheep for a brick? Uh, no. Two sheep for a brick. Uh, uh I'll take two. Uh, I'll take two sheep for a brick. And I'm going to trade in. Oh, geez. Exchange a brick. Uh, come on, mouse. A grain. A lumber. And a bar. And I'm going to build a settlement. Oh my goodness, a settlement. It's my last settlement. And I'm going to place it right there. Bottoms. Yes, my bad. Um, and that will have to end my turn. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to steal your. Should have done that a different way. Fucked my tail for. Unbelievable. Uh, 
Nah, you can take from you can take whatever. Mm-hmm. Do do do. Alrighty. Okay. All your brick, Cody. Four brick. All right. I will take two sheep for an ore, and then I will trade in the ore. Another sheep and wheat for a development card. And that's my turn. I was just about to ask if anybody would uh, like to trade for any brick. I'm um, alright, thanks though. So. Uh, let's see. <sighs> just so you know, he has eight. Um, hmm. Good call. <laughs> 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 Uh, I'm good on Breck, actually. Okay, that will end my turn then. <laughs> Dodger that. Double dodge. <laughs> Unbelievable. I can't believe this man. Um Can't help you there. <laughs> <laughs> if you give me, if you give me a, a wheat and an ore, I'll give you your brick back. No thanks. Steve, you want a brick for a wheat and an ore? <laughs> I can offer you a wheat, but I can't offer you an ore. Uh. Can't offer what I don't got, man. And somebody put a uh, robber on the space where I get my ore from, so. Well, it's not like. I mean, it's not, but if you had. <laughs> uh. Huh. Alrighty. Well, how do I want it? I don't know. I mean, if I give you a wheat, you're one step closer to whatever it is that you're trying to do. Well, I'm going to trade in three for one on my lumber. Get a wheat. Upgrade. Sure. Well, that's my turn. I will put this down. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Okay, I will not put that down. I will roll my dice <laughs> first. Calm down. <laughs> Dose. Um. <laughs> there you go. Okay, now I will put down the palace and we have a point. And then I will do nothing. <laughs> That's my turn. Alright. Dirty! Yeah! Eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Four, five. Bam. That was uh, not what I was hoping. Not what I wanted. Well, I'm going to ask, would anybody like to part with either a sheep or an ore? What do you want? I, I have brick and I have timber. I'm good on both of those at the moment. Wait. Maybe I'm not. I'll take three. Uh, nah. It's too steep the price. Steven, anything? I'm thinking. Um, no, I'm good. Okay. That'll end my turn then. Still st too steep of a price there, Cody? Now I don't need you. I can just trade in the brick. I mean, I guess if you, if you want to use more resources. <laughs> but if I'm flush, just saying. No, it, is it? It's who rolled? It's your turn, right? Yeah. So you're you're trying to make a deal. So three for an ore. I'm I'm thinking that's what I want. I'll do that. Steve, do you need brick? I do. No. I do. I I do need brick. Uh, what are you? Oh, Steve what? or Neil? Could you get my card? I... Oh, there it is. Never mind. I got it. What do you What do you want for it? Have a week. Um. I mean, I'm in need of either. A lumber or a okay. Let's see. Trade you a wheat for two brick. Why would I make that trade? I have a two for one brick port. That's true. You do. I will. Okay, I'll do one. I'll do one wheat for one brick. I'll give you a lumber for a sheep. Oh, you needed brick. <laughs> no, I was. No. Kidding. I Did needed. You need brick? I needed. You're getting rid of brick. Yeah, yeah I'm getting a bunch of brick from you. What are you talking? Right, about? right, right, right. right. <laughs> I'm, I'm two for oneing my brick for a piece of lumber, and then a sheep, a wheat, and a brick to bring another settlement out. And then I'm playing my. D 
victory. Unbelievable. Whew. <laughs> That was, that was close. <laughs> yeah, that was close. I got really worried there. I was yeah, really... Yeah, you all concerned about me. <laughs> Cody's at eight while he freaking goes from seven to ten in two rounds. <laughs> I was really, I was really hoping a nine was going to get rolled earlier so I didn't have to worry about all that trading. I mean, I would have liked a nine too, but I was just about to upgrade... Stuff to cities and all kinds of cool stuff, but oh, I I decided I was either as soon as I got this chapel, I was like, well, I'm either gonna try and get another knight. <laughs> I was like, so if if all of this didn't pan out, the trade wise, I would have gotten a D card. What that D card? Oh, it would have yeah, been a knight. <laughs> if I didn't get my uh, what I wanted to make a city. I was going to get rid of the rest of my roads. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and then, and like, then we would have been tied, right? Well, so if even with that ore trade, right, I still got a bunch of bricks so that I could have gotten a D card. Oh, okay. So I would have, I would have bought the D card. Um, I would have gotten this knight, which then would have made me play my chapel. Which right. would have gone around, and yeah. if anybody couldn't have won it in a round, I would have gotten it with the. Right. right. But what would have happened? What happens in the case of like okay, so the longest road goes to whoever has the longest road, right? Correct. Yeah. So if we both maxed out our roads, what happens? It just gets nullified. No, whoever owns it at that point in time still it has the. They still has keep the it, title. Can't surpass them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, and I was even debating on, um, because I was thinking about going to this two for one lumber port once I got this, uh, this settlement here, because I was hoping these were going to, you know, roll a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. Um, because then I would have just been rolling in the lumber and I could have pumped that into anything else. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, I, it was a, in the beginning, yeah. I, where I placed my, my stuff, I wasn't thinking about, I, like, I forgot what certain things did, and I was like, oh, wait, I should have, I should have put myself here or here, but I put myself over here, because I was like, oh, it'll be good to have, or, like, or is a great resource to have, and it'll be good for me to just put stuff there, and I was like, no, it was a bad, I, it was a bad move. Or is not, or is good. It's just a later not, not, game. Not at the beginning when you yeah. need to build roads. Yeah, yeah, I, I kind of, I got like to this, a point where like I this was getting... a fantastic spot to be, like this one space here at the beginning. But mm -hmm. I, it's just yeah, been... I was pretty much flush with with lumber and brick. Neil mm -hmm. kind of shut me down on wheat for a bit. Mm -hmm. But I think once I even put this on I, here, I, though, I, didn't have, I don't think I didn't have ore like at all. That was your hardest part, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And for a while, I had a lot of sheep. <laughs> and then my other statement, Cody, is... um, So I'm guessing you placed these roads here because you thought it added on to your overall road? Like these little spurs? Well, mainly like this one and this one? Or this? No, it would have been just... I was trying to figure out why you placed your roads here when I yeah, knew you I wanted to go less, there. I was more or less trying to prevent you from getting closer to me. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much what I was doing. Because I wanted to try to get a settlement um on this uh, 910. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, in that 910 area. So, I was trying to stop you from from closing me off from that. Yep. Mhm. Mm and I also, I was worried about being cut off from the ports, so I was trying to move that direction to try to stop you from, yeah. from blocking me off. Yeah. Well, that was my first time playing Catan, and it's a lot of fun. I, I'll play that again anytime. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure. I enjoy yeah. Catan. Yeah. A lot of fun. It's been a minute for me, so I forgot a lot, but... 
we'll have to do a review for it. Absolutely. Oh, you know. But no, it was. It's always it's always a good time. And I just like how everything like each time the map is there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. it's cool. I mean, like, like I said, I only watched that video, but you pretty much pick up how to play, you know, pretty quick. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I, I like that. It's not like it's not the same board every time, yep. you know. Because all these tiles are like the reason why all this is uh, lettered. Is because you go around in a circle. So you start mm -hmm. on one part and then put the numbers down in their letter for. Uh, to... Yeah, that's what's cool because it's like, you know, like when a game like you're playing like a risk game or something, right? Like people make up strategies to be like, okay, I have to take South America. Like that's my, you know, yep. that's the thing I'm gonna worry about. And yeah, this is different because it's like you don't have the chance to do that. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I was hoping I was when I when I played where I was, I was like, all right, that'll give me a lot of brick because I'll have the double nines of bricks. So I'll get two brick a time, and I was like, hopefully, I can make roads and and kind of cut people off right down the center, and it worked out pretty. Well. had me he had me stop neil from we have to stop neil from winning games no. <laughs> you, yeah. you had me real worried cody because things started rolling i know for you, you did i was like Oof. i know i was like this is not I picked good up steam there for a minute and really if i had had or when i needed it that i probably would have been oh yeah uh, at least another point ahead I'm yeah sure. yeah then here I was like, oh, Steve, are you trying to get on my ore spot over here? I, was like, <laughs> I kind of was trying to get over there, only to put a settlement to get points. Yep. And also to get, and also to get more ore. But like, I have, I had so much ore. Yeah. And I like, I was making, I was getting five pieces of ore anytime an eight was rolled. So yeah, if you had that two for one port on ore. Yeah. If I got that two for one port on ore, though, I would have, I would have moved quicker on blocking off this six. Mm -hmm. with all of my settlements and then yeah. turning them into cities because I just freaking hauled yeah. out. I would have had my two for one for brick, so like this one would have become a city real quick. Yep. And then uh... well, hopefully everybody who tuned in to watch or is going to tune in to watch when we Enjoyed us playing Settlers of Catan. It's a completely different animal when you play it with even more people. Mm -hmm. Um, it just it just changes everything because you gotta constantly change out your strategy. Yeah. Now you're dealing with up to five different people make, you know, four other different people make on top of you trying to play. But I I thoroughly enjoyed Catan. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna be hooked. <laughs> <laughs> I can already tell. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a simple game. It's fun to play. Um, hopefully everybody enjoyed watching us. Um, if you're catching this later on on YouTube, remember this is all for extra life. You do not have to donate while we're playing. You can donate at any time. If even you watched us today and you were like, oh man, I'm a little tight on, on some coins right now. Guess what? Payday, you could be like, oh, here you go. Here's some donations for a great cause. Helps children. And yep. Allows and we're them raising... to... Yeah, go ahead, Cody. I'm sorry, Neil, but we're raising money for the year. So yeah. we just we just won our second gold medal for um, raising over $1,000 for Extra Life two years in a row. So yeah. we, have, we have two gold medals. So now we're working on our third, um, which is going to be for 2022. Mm -hmm. So you get to, you know, you don't, like Neil was saying, you don't have to just donate when we're playing our games. I mean, it's... That's when the incentives it's a little bit are. More inter right, it's a little more interactive because that's when we give away incentives. Yep. But you can donate outside of that because it all goes to the same place and it's for a great cause. So Yeah. Um. Other than that, great game. Yep. B2B guys, uh, I think we're gonna 
pull our bone ponies into into the ranch, to the stable, and start brushing them down, ranching them up. Oats. That's right, give them the oats. Funny thing about a bone pony, you actually feed it ranch and mm. or ranch flavored oats. Oof, ah, like that's... the ranch flavored sunflower seeds. Yeah, they're to they're die kind for. of addictive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now, here's the question, though. You know, we'll leave you with this last piece of thought. Are you a type of person who breaks apart your sunflower seeds and spits out the shells? Or are you the type of person that just chews it all together and swallows it whole? Uh, the latter. <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm, 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 Way to make them biased by giving them an answer to go with, Cody. I'm just saying. Well, Steve, like me. how do you do it? I'll say the former. Oh. I will not answer. Keep this yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, so there you go. When which, it comes which, to pistachios, which, I open the shell. Which team are, you are you on? Are you yeah. on Team Cody or Team Steve? That's like, true. Flowers. We're going to put a poll up. I think, I think if it comes down to, like, you know, Avengers Civil War between you and I, going down steve it sounds like there needs to oh. be a risk game coming up that's well, what it sounds like i'll, I'll play risk that'd be fun yeah. well, that, that depends on Actually, I'll, I'll play scythe again <laughs> you know I'd like to this one. yeah i gotta have a second chance you know redeem that's myself true. well i think that's it we need to we need you know instead of like our our one showing and then whoever wins it wins it i think we need to have you know our challenge game yeah uh happens. game Game day for 2022 is going to be November 5th, so we'll be certainly playing a lot of these games over again. Oh um, yeah, hopefully with more friends. Oh. It was a it, we kind of did this. We wanted to get back into doing the the fundraising for Extra Life, but it's real busy for our immediate circle. Yeah. So you just got three piece tendy tonight, but we'll be back. We'll be back next month. We're we're considering doing another um installment of the cold fire within module that we were playing for pulp cthulhu mm -hmm. yep for seventh edition call of cthulhu but the the pulp variant um so we're gonna see if that works for people's schedules but otherwise we'll we'll play something cool yeah um if anybody has any suggestions they can put it in the corral below and we uh, any of the games that we play that we haven't played before we will then later do a review for correct so that'll also be That'll also be up there. Yep. Alrighty then. I believe that's it for us, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Yep. Um, if you watched us on YouTube, you know, thank you very much. Adventuring. Yeah, be sure to check us out on Drive Through RPG. We have like oh, yeah. eleven adventures up there, um, in PDF form for both D and D five E and Apotheosis, which is a game Ooh. system that. Um, was just recently Kickstarter or crowdfunded, so through yeah. a Kickstarter, yeah. Uh, which is a cool, cool system. So check cool. us out. Yeah, we have a sure. lot of free titles up on Drive Through RPG. Yeah, and and yeah, just check out our website tabletopvitality.com for links to everything. Links for everything will also be down in the corral below. And I think that'll be it for us. So uh, you know, stay safe, stay warm, and get ranched. Yeah.